All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 802 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern Atlanta Falcons football, and it is rivalry week, and I am going to finally get this episode out of the way. If you looked at my last video on YouTube, my voice was gone. It is back now. It's not at 100%, but I think it's good enough for me to you know, push through this video, push through this podcast, push through the message, and let everybody know that we need to beat not only Georgia State, but we also need to beat the New Orleans Saints. So we're going to talk about that, give my thoughts and opinions about everything. And I'm going to, you know, look back at a little bit of the last game that we had with the uh, with the Chiefs because there's something I want to talk about that as well. So big, big show today. So hopefully you guys will uh, check it out and, and follow me here. Um, speaking of follow me, I, you can follow me on X at VF Baller. The website, well, I'm sorry, the website is down. I, I don't really run the website anymore. But you can find me on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, also on YouTube Podcasts, also on Rumble. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. I cannot thank you guys enough. I want to jump right into this because, for me, this is pretty important because it, this is a season-changing situation for both teams. I think that Georgia Southern could bounce back if they was to happen to lose against State. But it's still a long season for the Falcons, but you don't want to start 1-3. and three. And uh, I'm going to talk about Georgia Southern first, and then I'm going to jump to the Falcons because I'm going to keep it short for Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern comes up to Atlanta, and I know there's a storm coming through, so uh, but it shouldn't affect the game on Saturday for the most part. Hopefully it don't. Uh, they come to Atlanta to play the Georgia State Panthers at Turner Field. I know they call it Park Center or Park Stadium or whatever. It, it's, it's Turner Field. I don't care what anybody say. <laughs> and they're going to be playing against the uh, Georgia State Panthers. Now, Georgia State Panthers, they have a fairly solid team. They beat Vanderbilt. They played pretty good this season so far. Don't too much know much, too, don't know much about them. We'll get into a matchup later on in the week when uh, we actually talk about the players on the teams. But they do have a solid team. The Georgia Southern also has a solid team. Went up against Ole Miss, only team to score a touchdown against Ole Miss so far this year. Ole Miss looked like they can win a national title. Uh, but for the most part, they played respectably. You know, they played okay. And, you know, there were some things on that team that, you know, you just got outmatched. It is what it is. All the other games you played so far, you played pretty well. So for coming out of the non-conference games at 2-2 two and two is actually, you know, almost better than expected. A lot of people thought it was going to be 1-3. and three. And you can start your Sun Belt Conference uh, or your Sun Belt title run against Georgia State. And I think you got a really good chance of beating this team. They do have a solid team. I do think we have a better team. And I think it will show if we basically just run block. If we can run block, which is kind of like our Achilles heel, if we can run block, we will. I, I believe we can run away with this game because we have a balanced attack and it won't be uh, too much relying so much on the passing game. That's one thing we haven't been doing well is run, running the ball that well. If we can get that established, that's cool. I have no quarrels with the defense. I think the defense is going to be fine. I uh, also don't have much you know, problems with the passing game, even with the special teams. I think they're going to be okay. The only thing is you're going up to Atlanta. It can be a hostile territory, even though the lack the lack of you know spectators that be at the game, it can be a situation where you can lose a game because the you know the home team tend to play better. The spread has, you know, Georgia State winning by, you know, three and a half. I mean, they get three points just for being you know, at home, so it's not that much of a, a gap. But I think this is a game, if you just play Georgia Southern football, you'll be fine. I, I think you just got to be in a situation where if you play anywhere up to part that you played the first three games, when you played against Nevada, the, the South Carolina States, and Boise State, you'll be fine. You know, I think they'll be okay. So with that being said, kudos to Georgia State for winning against Vanderbilt, even though Vanderbilt is a lower-tier SEC team. It's still an accomplishment to be the Power 5 opponent. But at the end of the day, I, I just think that Georgia Southern is the better team. We're going to talk about the matchups and everything, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, the mat the matchups with the players later on this week. I, I know what it is, what, Thursday now, Wednesday night. We'll probably talk about it Friday. We'll, we'll talk about the matchups, the preview. We'll get into that. And uh, I, I just feel like Georgia Southern, I think they just have too many weapons on offense, to be honest. And if we can run block, we can move some guys around in the running game and get some holes open for OJ Arnold and, 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 uh, oh goodness, Jalen White. I, I, it'd be a repeat of last, of last game of last season. We'll be the 44 to 27. That, that's just how I feel. We'll talk about that later. 
Now, let's talk about these Falcons. First and foremost, before I get into the Saints game, because I think the Saints got a lot of players out. Uh, let me look this up to make sure. Um, you know, let me look this up. I think they got a good bit of players out for this game, and they got a lot of key injuries. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up. Uh, but nevertheless, before we get into that, a lot of people have been talking about this Chiefs game and the pass interference call. Yes, I believe that the um, the ref missed the pass interference call. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's not the first time. It's not the last time it's going to happen. It's something you can't control. The main thing is you just have to play your game. And with that being said, we still had a chance to win this game. And I don't know. Some people are saying that Kirk Cousins called out of the play or whatever the case may be to, to run the sweet play with uh, with B. John Robinson. Look, listen, man, you got to get that ball to Tyler Algier and you got to get that one inch. You got to. If, if your backup lineman that's in there, you feel like they can't get it, then they don't need to be on the field. You got to get at least one inch. If it's fourth and one, a long one, I kind of get it. If it's fourth and two, I kind of get it. But it's fourth and inches or fourth and an inch. You got to get that. You got to get that with whoever's on the field. You got to be able to get that. You know, it, it, there's no bones about it. And even with the fourth and five, when we missed the fourth and five, looking back on that now, we would have took the points there, took the three there, and took the three just all at the end of the game. We probably could have won the game. You know, I mean, but see, but you know, that it woulda, shoulda, coulda. But at the end of the day, you, you only could deal with what you can control. And it is what it is. Now, let, let's talk about the Saints game. Saints got a lot of missing pieces going into this next game. And for some reason, my computer's running a little slow. I may have to uh, pull it up on my phone, which is fine. And, but the Falcons should be okay. You're playing at home. You got all your pieces. Uh, Matt Hennessy is back. Uh, I don't think the offensive line is going to be intact. I, I don't think Caleb McGarry might not even play. But even with that, it should offset with all the other injuries that the Saints have, and I think they got some guys on the front line that are actually um, not um, going to be playing. So um, this is going to be a, a really good matchup at the end of the day. You know, I mean, when the Saints and the Falcons always play, excuse me, it's always a good game. But at the end of the day, I just think the Falcons defense should be able to stop whatever that the Saints defense or the Saints offense is trying to pull. You know, I mean, that's, it, that's the way it should be, in my opinion. You know, you saw what Jesse Bates could do. You saw what, um, you don't know what, what's his name? Uh, AJ Terrell had a quiet game um, as far as tackling. You know, a, a lot of those plays that, uh, the it, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of the plays that the, the Chiefs got was on the other cornerback. I didn't see too much of that. Well, I could be wrong, but I thought AJ Terrell played okay. I thought the secondary played fine. The front seven, they couldn't stop the run too much. But I think what I think Alvin Kamara, he he's unknown. He may not even play. Like uh, you know, I, I don't think he's going to be playing. Um, let me see. Yeah, Alvin Kamara, Demario Davis, he may be out. Alon Taylor, um, Landon Young, um, Kalen Sanders. You got a good Taysom Hill. He might not even be out. He might not even play either. Derek Carr, he's hurt with a uh, left groin. I don't know. They got a lot of injuries, so this could be our game for the taking. And especially with, if Alvin Kamara's not playing, that's that's a big plus for the defense that has problems stopping the run. And um, we need to do that and improve on our third down. I think if we are able to do both of those, at least one of those, we should win this game. The offense itself, I have no quarrels with the offense. I think the offense has played very well. Um, I do think they're running. I think they're running Bijan Robinson a little bit too much. They need to mix it up with Tyler Algier when they when they did that against the Eagles. You saw how that played out. Um, they, they, I mean, I think there was like 13 and 9 as far as carries. If they do more of that, I think they'll be much more successful at running the ball. And the play action has been working. It's been working very well. And it's, it's quite awesome to see this offense run the way they run. I, it's hard for me to get used to it. But when you see that and you see the defense rolling, it really sucks when you see the game is being deflated by a bad call. <coughs> Excuse me. A bad call when you say with the pass interference that you can't control or the fourth down when you can't get that. You know, those type of things are really uh, deflating. But I think in this game, I think they'll be fine. Um, I don't think the Saints have the firepower to keep up with the Falcons. I mean, they put up 40 points the first two games. In the last game, they put up 12. 
So you really don't know what you're getting. And then Alva Kamara may be out as well. So you just don't know what you're getting when it comes to that actual, the, the offense. But with our offense, even though we're down two linemen, I think those guys should be okay enough for us to still be able to move the ball, hopefully. Because in the middle of the game, you got those line, you got those linemen coming in the middle of the game. And that front seven of the Chiefs just started teeing off on uh, Kirk Cousins. And even then, we still had a chance to win. So all is not lost with the, the complete package of the Falcons. It should be okay in this game. And they got to win this game. You don't want to go down one and three. 0-1 against a division opponent. This is a game you have to win. And I think they can. You know, so let me know what you guys think. I don't want to go too much further. I try my best to talk. My voice is still, you know, it sounds better, but it's it's hitting me. So I'll probably take another day or so before I actually get back into the swing of things. Uh, but definitely we'll be talking about the Georgia Southern Eagles and the Atlanta Falcons preview these next few uh, uh, videos. So hopefully you check me out over here on YouTube. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate it. If you like the commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. You can find me on Exit via Baller, Spotify, Apple, uh, YouTube podcast, and on Rumble. You can find these uh, episodes over here. Rumble is acting kind of funny lately, so if it don't make it on Rumble, it should still be up on the other platform. So we'll see how that goes. All right, y'all. See y'all guys on the next one. Y'all take it easy, and y'all be blessed. Peace.